Now, welcome back, everybody, to the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, and it feels very nice to be back finally. Yes, after the recent mandatory update that was released like two days ago or something, a lot of people had trouble with, uh, you know, running the Flight Simulator. In fact, my installation completely broke. I kind of died inside. Good, so we're loading. Oh! Oh, yeah, just normal things in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 where after the mandatory update you have to install because that's just what Microsoft likes to do. The simulator just stops working or in my case, I couldn't even install the update. It just completely died. So now 120 gigabytes of download later, I'm finally back. The thing is though, I have lost all my add-ons, all my planes and I should probably stop ranting now and start talking about the video because for this video, I didn't even have to install an update. All I had to do was spawn into an airport already included in the flight simulator. Yes, welcome to Monte Aguila Airport. Now this airport I found in a Reddit post in yesterday's video as well. Very interesting. What the hell is this even? Great. But before we talk about any further about what this airport is even, let's go ahead and land this floated Cessna 172. Okay. Oh my god. All right. Oh my goodness. Now this is of course normally a seaplane. I'm not quite sure if this is actually made for, you know, landing on grass runways. Great, but we've actually stopped here at Monte Aguila Airport. Now, let's go ahead and talk about where we are. We are actually in France. We're in the French mountains. And yeah, this is, I think Monte Aguila is probably a very wrong pronunciation. Probably Mont Aguila. Yeah, this is a mountain peak here in the Alpine Mountains. Um, and it looks like this actually in real life as well. For some reason though, I don't know why this is actually counted as an actual proper airport here in the flight simulator. Um, this is probably handcrafted too. Yes, this Montaguile thing is uh, 2,000 meters uh, tall and it has a unique flat top. So that's uh, interesting. I mean, this has actually some good airport potential. I mean, not only airport potential, it is an, a, an official airport according to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. I mean, just taking a look at the map, it is... Oh, oh, oh no. Please don't crash. I've had, I have bad experience with crash here. Yeah, just great. After the update, it's just all running very smoothly. <laughs> but the definite question remains why this thing is actually counted as a proper airport here in the flight simulator, right? And there's actually an interesting answer why... Uh-oh. Oh, please don't crash Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. But yeah, interesting answer. <laughs> what am I saying? Interesting answer for this interesting uh, question. You know, it's just very great to see how smooth this thing is running after the update. It's just... Nice. But first of all, let's do some plane upgrades here. This is the new UI here from the uh, flight simulator. You can now scroll down to see your airplanes, which I don't. Okay, I, honestly, it's a lot better <laughs> than scrolling through all of them. Yeah. Also, something that's new is the airport selection in general, like the map. We can see it is all nicely, you know, satellite scenery. Made scenery a verb right there, as you see. And this is now here our Mont Aguili airport. Mm, looks quite nice. But uh, let's go ahead and actually just try to land this. Says in citation CJ4 jet here. Which, I mean, yeah, honestly, I do have quite a bit of trust here in this place. This is quite, you know, a long runway that we have here on this mountain. Not all that bad. I mean, genuinely, if you put like an asphalt runway here, then maybe there is some potential for like an international airport. <laughs> no. All right, coming for a landing right here. Ooh, a bit bumpy this runway, isn't it? All right, come on, touch down. Nice, nice and easy, maybe a little hard actually. Uh-oh, I've, I've kind of landed a little bit late, haven't I? But no problem at all, we can just go ahead and jump off the cliff again. Holy moly, that is probably the <laughs> scariest take I've ever done. Scariest go around at least, and uh, that's been interesting. Yeah, genuinely, I think taking off from this interesting runway airport isn't all that big of an issue when it comes to overrunning, you know? Because again, you have this cliff, you can just fall down and just gain speed, you know, that's just great. All right, let's do this landing here now. There we go, much better. A little bit earlier. Oh, wow, that's been a bad, bit, bit of a crash, yeah. Pretty sure the firefighting facilities for when you, yeah, when you crash are not all that good. But that's another story. We've stopped somehow. Gone quite well. But let me just go ahead and explain this airport here, or why this is an airport here in uh, the, the flight simulator. Let me just say, this thing has already, you know, had a bit of contact with planes. 
Yes. Yeah, let me just read it here from the Wikipedia. The shirt says on August 27th of 1957, the stunt pilot Henry G. Rode landed a Piper J3 Cub on the summit. Yep, this thing was actually used as a genuine airport by this Henry G. Road guy. Interesting, right? And, well, fun fact, there's actually an airport called Henry G. Road. Of course, that is the help the U.S. airport. Henry G. Road. Uh, so it was named after this guy. Interesting. Yes, this thing was actually used as an airport out to surface for uh, over uh, 50 landings here. 51 landings on the summit. Damn. Many carrying paying passengers and often made using skis, which works quite well too. So yeah, that is the explanation why this thing is somewhat still seen as an airport, at least by the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, which I mean, it's, it's very interesting. This uh, Again, this is no add-on. This is just the plain Microsoft. Let's go ahead and fly... Oh, please don't crash now again. Oh no. Yeah, let's maybe try flying some bigger planes here. I hope that works. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what to move on with now. I mean, we've got the A320. That's maybe a bit of a big step, isn't it? Maybe it's time for the good old Cessnation Longitude, which is quite a bit bigger than the CJ4 to step in. Mm, yeah, maybe that's a good idea. All right, here we go. Now, full concentration is needed. Let's go ahead and touch down perfectly. Maybe a bit smooth and then stop. Yes, yes, okay. Kissed, kissed, kissed. Let's go. Stop, stop, stop. Come on, plane. Yes, please. Oh, this was not made for grass runways. I'm sorry, little aircraft. Oh, no, don't overrun. Don't overrun now. That's not going very well, has it? Ah, God damn it. That was actually such a good looking landing right there. Why did that not work out? God damn it. I mean, maybe the A320 will be a bit of a better grass lander because this did not work out at all. Mm, quite an early touchdown, though. Yeah, that really hasn't worked out. <clears throat> yeah, A320. All right, A320, are you sure you want to do this? This is not particularly easy. I mean, this is a French plane now, and we're in France, where you can find many of those interesting, weird airports that are just there on a mountain. So maybe it's it, it's used to that, just from its bloodline, something. Yeah, not, not very hopeful now. Okay, let's go in. I think this is a perfect airport now for Pegasus Airlines. Oh, no, but not for Ryanair. <laughs> yeah, great, but I mean, maybe the only way you can actually land it properly is probably by actually doing a hard landing, putting the plane into the ground. And that's actually, there you go. Ha, it's worked. <laughs> Welcome back to Swiss Desert. But I mean, again, taking off isn't that big of an issue at all. I mean, this actually is a little bit sloped here, this runway as well. It goes a little bit downhill, which is perfect for takeoff. I mean, or uphill for a landing, by the way, too. We need to go ahead and take off the 747. Why are we even doing this? I'm not even quite sure. But this is absolutely beautiful, though. This interesting mountain. I mean, it is really damn tall. Yeah, we're definitely going to need to fall down a little bit now. Use this cliff. Oh, that <clears throat> hasn't really worked out at all. Don't glitch out again yes yes there we go perfect we are airborne quite forcefully we're falling down right now but not until now we are actually flying there we go everybody a perfect takeoff as you can see this is definitely an international airport now so yeah guys thank you so much for watching today's video i just found this super interesting i'll see you guys tomorrow as always good night now, thank you to my members here on YouTube, like Block, Emite, Mubarak, Mike, Ethan, Darren, Stefan, Ian, uh, Oman the Human, Rafael Brokowski, Junk in the Trunk, Moritz, uh, Toby, Great Grandpa John, Garvin Pasta, Calamity Airlines, Kelly Chaos, New York, uh, Tyler Park, Chista Ritos, Shadow, Anime Planes 001, X Men Show, Laird the Slama, Futuring, Kellen, Me by You, Captain Cameron, Spiro, uh, Gary, Norwegian, Bajel, and Pyrology.